All right, welcome back. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, please. Thumb the video up. So I got a call. This is not about the trebuchet. I got a call um, from actually from a neighbor, and they have a little business they're starting up, a little handmade craft and jewelry business, and they'd like a couple signs made. So um, going to be 10 inches on the X, 48 inches on the Y, one inch thick. Okay. And they want these with painted lavender uh, colored text. And then they want like shabby chic on the outside. So let's get rolling here. <clears throat> I think we're going to go something with this text right here. This is happened to be the one I was on last time. Um, lavender girls. And I don't know if they have a website yet. I'll uh, link to it in the description if they do. Let me see. And then let's rotate the, whoops, close out of that. Rotate that. Center it. Center it. Okay, now see, here's the deal. You see how this overlaps? That's going to be an issue. Um, they all do it. It won't look good. So what I have to do is I have to convert this to curves. Then I have to go in here with my scissors. And I have to cut out. Uh, at least I think this is going to work. Limited experience with this. Cut this out. There we go. As long as these all join up properly, and it oops. As long as these all join up properly, then it should be pretty smooth sailing. Uh, we'll find out in just a second here. Oops. Uh oh, I just deleted something. I'd say I deleted something. Okay, how am I going to do this here? What is the issue? Maybe these aren't actually touching. Yeah, they're not. See, they're good. Boom. So I think what I need to do here is just draw in a little connector line from right there to there. Let's check the other side. Voila. <clears throat> okay. That's pretty good. Do this one. There's another. And you just go in and cut all these out. And that's it. Now let's group all these back together. Let's try a tool path. Definitely do V-carve. And we're going to use... It's pretty small. Pretty small font, so I think an eighth of an inch M mill is probably going to be sufficient, but we'll just see. 13 minutes, 30 minutes, it's not going to take that long. Now let's turn the text to. Wait a minute, wrong one. Turn that to white. 
and turn the fill color to a lavender. Uh, oh, there we go. And that is something like what she's after, I believe. Maybe you know, she might want a mounting hole, a couple little mounting holes in here, huh? Let's see. If uh, 16 inch on center, so let's do this guideline. Oops, guideline. Okay, so let's put a guideline in here, running horizontal, right through the center. Twenty-four. I think that's because I have to put a forty-eight inches, right? Yep. So that would definitely be the center. And then I need to go sixteen inches on each side of that. Um, so let's make a box. On the Y, 16 inches. And let's center that. Boom. And then now, I just put a couple of drill holes right like that. Actually, you know what? What if I go like that? Yeah, that'll look better. So let's do a circle. Um, quarter inch, yeah. 0.25. Uh, create. And... Bad boy, right? Like... Actually, you know what? Let's do this. We line this sucker up with the top. And then we put it right in the middle. Copy, paste. Then we're going to take this thing down here. So, grab a little dot, like so, get this thing out of here, make one more tool path, shift, select them both, and let's run a drilling tool path. I'm going to go one inch, I'm selecting a quarter of an inch end mill, yeah, I like it, I'll see if she does, you know what, I'm going to give her another alternative also, so there's one, Reset the tool path. OK. 
just for giggles, let's give her a different font altogether. Something big and bold. Oh, helps to actually put in what you wanted to say. Take a picture of this one, just to give her a couple options, because she wants two of these. carve this one up. Maybe one more not so bold. More of a bold, fancier bold. Let's just get some out of here. Let's try this one. Do the same thing with this one. And convert to curves. Let's just delete. Let's just start snipping away here. See what it looks like though. Kind of like that one. Let's see what she thinks. Let's zoom in on it a little more.
All right, well, I'm going to run these over to her and see what she thinks, and whichever one she likes, I will get to making it. And even if she doesn't like any of them, then I'll get back to redesigning. But either way, there'll be a video coming out for this design soon enough, unless she outright says she doesn't want it. But I'm pretty sure she does, uh, so I'll get back with you. And I appreciate you all watching. Hit that subscribe button, please, if you haven't already. Hit that little bell no, uh, notif uh, icon to be notified when I put out new videos. And again, thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. Till the next video, I'm out.